Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nicole Cottrell, and I'm a Marketing Manager for Rico Canada Services Business. And today I'm going to be sharing some thoughts on a topic that's becoming critical to the success of our businesses as our digital world continues to evolve. Uh, with everyone being here on time at the top of the hour, I don't want to keep you waiting a minute more than necessary. So uh, anyone who does join late won't disturb us. They'll just um, they'll join our meeting in progress. You won't hear any noises or anything like that. A um, bit of housekeeping here. So we're together today for an hour. So out of respect for your time and in order to be able to get through all the material, I have the line muted so I can't hear your questions. But I do encourage you to go ahead and enter your questions in the chat window on your screen. Uh, you'll see uh, on your monitor, you'll see a section called chat. You can go ahead and enter your questions there. I'll see them and then at the end of our presentation, I'll pull them up and we'll go through them together. And look forward to hearing your thoughts. So, mountain climbing. I've chosen mountain climbing as a metaphor for implementing an information mobility strategy. Mountain climbing is viewed by some as an extreme sport, while for others it's you know, a, simply an exhilarating pastime that offers the ultimate challenge of strength, endurance, and sacrifice. It can be highly dangerous, for sure, even fatal, especially when the climber is out of his or her depth or you know, gets overwhelmed by the weather and the terrain and the ice or other dangers of the mountain. Inexperience, uh, poor planning, inadequate equipment can all contribute to injury or death of the mountain climber, so knowing what to do right matters. Despite all the negatives, when done right, mountain climbing is awesome. It's exciting. It's exhilarating. It's a rewarding experience. Now, obviously, information mobility is hardly dangerous or fatal, but knowing what to do right matters, and the journey is definitely exciting and rewarding. And whilst inexperience, poor planning, and inadequate equipment certainly don't contribute to injury or to death, few, thank goodness, uh, they absolutely put our information mobility strategy and our business success at risk. So mountain climbing, welcome to base camp. So today we're going to cover information mobility, and we'll come at it from a few different angles, what it is, uh, how information mobility is generating positive impact on other companies, what sets information mobility mature organizations apart from other organizations. We'll talk about some of the key ways to improve your information mobility strategies in your own businesses, and lastly, explore some of the practical tactics to start breaking down productivity barriers for your own employees. Now, we won't be discussing specific products or services or solutions that I entirely leave to you and your Eureka Solution Consultants so that your climb to the summit of uh, the mountain for information mobility reflects your unique business and its requirements and your own uh, unique people. At a time when many businesses are looking for any way to slash costs and get on the right side of the balance sheet, we need to do something different the sort of difference that can turn a bad year into a great one, the sort of difference that comes from information mobility. It's the sort of difference that world leader market research engine, IDC, found enables companies to see 28% average net productivity increase, $1,024 average operations cost reduction per employee, and $7,210 average annual increase in revenue per employee. Because when you think about it, information is at the heart of everything we do. Every business, no matter how big or small, is driven by information and how we access, use, and share it in this new information economy. Information mobility is crucial and our businesses can't thrive without it. So first off, let's go through some of the basics and lay out a, a plan for our climb together today. The way people work is evolving and we're helping inspire the change. Today, computers, laptops, and phones are all tools of your trade, and as a result, you don't just go to work, you need work to come to you. We, Arico, have been around for 80 years, and we're still leading the way when it comes to work style innovation. From our beginning in 19, 1993, as the Canadian headquarters of Rico America's Corporation, Rico Canada has always been on the forefront of workplace innovation. Yesterday, that meant creating the first office fax machine, enabling people to work smarter, better, faster than ever before. Today, that means information mobility, which is the ability to capture, manage, access, and use 
the information you need wherever and whenever you need it, driving results that you want. As for tomorrow, that vision is already taking shape in our heads and in our labs too. As one of the, the Thompson Reuters top 100 global innovators, when the workplace begins its next major change, our imagination will help drive it. So sure, RICO is known for its copiers and its printers and its other office equipment, but we're so much more than that. As a total solution provider, RICO helps organizations improve the way they work top to bottom by providing a comprehensive information framework from document workflow, process automation, um, workplace productivity solutions and services, managed IT services, information technology, and information security. Business is no longer performed solely at a desk or even in an office. This modern way of working requires that your workers have easy access to the information they need in the right time, place, and format that they need it. We call this information mobility. So what is information mobility? It's being able to digitize decades worth of records so you can find what you're looking for on your tablet. It's going to bed each night comfortable knowing that your IT infrastructure has the latest protections from hackers, viruses, trojans, malware. It's waking up at 5 a.m. in a hotel room half a world away and being able to access your company's shared drive. It's having the know-how to optimize work styles in a team that includes a 23-year-old university grad and a 30-year company veteran so that both can succeed and be productive. It's being able to transform your paper and digital documents into any format you need, and then back again, whether on the go or at the office. It's using big data systems to index, archive, organize, and understand your historical data to glean insights that could inform future decisions. It's about having the technology you need, understanding the new world of work, and knowing how to cut through the noise to have anywhere, anytime access to your critical business information. That's information mobility. And in today's changing world, it's what your business needs to succeed. So back some 25 years ago, the concept of mobility was very different. Collaboration, efficiency, and productivity were just as important then as now, and to their credit, businesses made use of the day's technologies as best they could. You could jump on a red-eye flight at fly across the country to meet with an important client in person, or you could send a document via fax machine when mail was just too slow. Work style innovations that helped to revolutionize the way we work, yes, but these businesses didn't have anything close to true information mobility. After all, companies were still storing their records on paper. Printers were slow and costly. Fax machines were even slower and the phone was the only way to collaborate in real time with a colleague, whether they were in a room down the hall or in another country. So today, we finally have the technology for businesses to enjoy full information mobility. We have video conferencing that lets you talk to someone on the other side of the planet face-to-face -face and in real time, or digital records management that's revolutionizing the way doctors treat patients, giving them immediate access to a patient's entire medical history and helping to save lives. And of course, mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. We can't even live without those today. We're still in the mobile industry's infancy, and yet we've already seen just how it can change the way we work. Business apps have given us the ability to automate processes that used to take hours, giving workers, workers more time to concentrate on projects that directly affect a business's bottom line. Tablets have become de rigueur for everything from email to note-taking to in-field employee workflow processes. And people now have anytime, anywhere access to their work. But information mobility is more than just using technology to accomplish business goals. It's also understanding the impact that these tools are having on workers. Maintaining work-life balance has become a significant challenge. Many are struggling in an increasing technical world that they feel has passed them by, and a changing workforce is driving trends that have created some rifts between generations. As millennials enter the job market and become the colleagues of older, established workers, the results have been tumultuous to say the least. One needs only look at the, the much, parod much parodied uh, Time magazine cover, profiling millennials to see that. It's, it's not just generational differences either. Even among workers in the same age group, differences in work styles cre can create significant challenges, from the tech savvy to the technophobe, from the person who prefers to write everything down on paper to the person who takes their iPad wherever they go. 
These differences abound in today's workplace. So knowing how to understand them and enable them to coexist together in a way that's mutually beneficial, that's the challenge. Because the mistake is that far too many companies may, are that they don't consider the human element of their work. They talk about enterprise mobility and technology driving innovation, but they forget that in the midst of all the corporate jargon and, and the paying the lip service to the trends driving their industry, that people are still the heart of every single business. And before you can take advantage of all the shiny new tech, you need a workforce that can communicate and work together. A workforce that is content in the challenge and reward that their job drives. A workforce that approaches projects with efficiency and speed. A workforce that, well, works. So, to wrap up our time at Basecamp here, having the technology you need, good. Understanding that actual human beings drive your business, wonderful. Now, how do you make information work for you? Because when you think about it, information is the underpinning of everything we do at work. Every business, no matter how big or small, is driven by information and how we access, use, and share it <clears throat> in this new information economy. It's the basis of every project we attempt, every business venture, every innovation. Information is at the root of it all. Not just data, but information, useful data. So accessibility to that one needle in the haystack of data that changes everything for your business. Effectively managing your information, finding what's important and being able to quickly act on that information is what separates successful businesses from failing ones. And having information mobility is always being one step ahead. So the million dollar question, how does my, my business get information mobility? And the answer is, is, you, is as unique as your business. Because one size doesn't necessarily fit all. An enterprise level company isn't going to have the same needs as a mid-sized organization or your typical small business. Every business is unique, but all share the same need. They need to make information work for them. So in general, your business, big or small, needs three things. Technology that lets you stay connected and gives you the ability to access use, and share information in the format you need it in, whether that's paper or digital, video or text. An engaged workforce whose needs, work styles, and idiosyncrasies are not only understood, but prized and optimized to create effective processes that empower every employee and give them the best chance to be successful. Information that is securely and safely managed throughout your entire company. For what goal? To make things easy to help your business grow, to make information work for you. That's information mobility. Let's get ready to climb. Let's get to the numbers of this thing. So the, it's time to start thinking about what information mobility means for your business. In today's highly competitive, always on, always connected marketplace, your workers need the ability to capture, transform, and manage critical information 24-7, regardless of their location. That's the, going to be the common theme today. Information mobility enables this seamless movement of information throughout your organization. Businesses that don't want to be left behind need their information to be as mobile as their people are. So they have the agility to be successful in the fast-paced business world of today, tomorrow, and all the tomorrows to come. Leaders have talked about the, the air quotes here, guys, the quote unquote future of business, as long as there's been business to talk about. But now that phase has more relevance and more urgency than ever. When the, again, air quotes, quote unquote future isn't 20 years from now, but 20 minutes. And whatever changes we see then will have serious ramifications for our companies in the coming years. From the same RICO survey as the previous stat on the, on the last slide there, 60% of workers surveyed <clears throat> by RICO say that using new technologies at work is quote unquote challenging. 80% say that new or different technologies are available that would allow them to be more efficient and productive, but their companies aren't using them. Information mobility is a core requirement for today's mobile workforce. IDC, the leading industry research body, developed a study conducting a global survey of almost 300 director level and above executives 
from IT and lines of business with 500 or more employees. This was backed up by 12 in-depth interviews with line of business and IT executives from companies with high levels of information mobility. The goals were to understand the business, benef the business benefits of information mobility and the current state of information mobility across organizations. <clears throat> I'll take you through some of the highlights of the findings in the next handful of slides. Starting here, IDC found that almost 50% of employees spend more of their time working from non-traditional locations. They need access to key enterprise information and data to get their jobs done anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Are you information mobility ready? IDC categorized the respondents of the of this study into four levels of information mobility, candidates, beginners, contenders, and champions. Clearly, few companies are information mobility ready, with only 17% of companies in the study having the highest level of information mobility. That's the champions on the right-hand side of your screen. <clears throat> the remaining 83 risk falling further behind. Many business workflows are still not electronic and not optimized across departments. In the top right corner, we see that 16% of all respondents have automation of most or all of their core business process document workflows. 41% of respondents have some, and 42 have a few. 3% on the, on the top right there, 3% of respondents have effectively completed business process workflows integration across departments to a major extent in their organization. 24% of respondents have effectively done moderate uh, implementation and integration, and 50% have effectively done to a minor extent. Almost a quarter of respondents have not effectively done any cross-departmental integration. Organizations are still just too dependent on paper. Many business workflows are still not electronic and not optimized across departments. Therefore, they still rely heavily on paper. As you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, 58% rely on paper documents for critical business processes. This leads to significantly inefficient workflows. Employees lack adequate tools to search across all data repositories. In the top right corner, we see that half of employees need to access six or more data repositories, but only 18% of companies enable single search across all resources. That means your employees are searching six different places for what they're looking for. It might be in any one of those six places, but they're having to go to each one, log on, perform their searches, a ton of time wasted. On the left side, we see that almost 40% of enterprise information is captured in filing cabinets, or even worse, in their employees' heads. So without searchable electronic databases, institutional knowledge can, can walk right out our door when the employees leave or retire. Not only does that create huge holes in our business, but our bottom line also takes a direct hit when, for, for instance, if the information needs to be resourced and recreated when we realize the loss. And doesn't that always just usually happen at the 11th hour when we need it to action some other deliverable? Lastly, collaboration tool availability. Collaboration tools are lacking in our businesses. In the bottom right-hand corner, we have the percentages of companies that provide collaboration and web conferencing tools to all of their employees. Only 27% of companies provide collaboration tools to all employees, and only 30% provide basic web conferencing. So you can clearly imagine the challenge this creates for a mobile workforce. Remember the statistic from just a couple slides ago where 50% of our people are working in non-traditional environments? How is any work getting done? Also lacking is cloud and mobile platform support for information mobility. Legacy technologies have just not caught up with today's mobile workforce. IDC found that support for key cloud and mobile platforms is a blind spot for senior management, where less than 40% of respondents perceive strong senior management support for key platforms that enable employee mobility. IDC has identified a significant gap in enabling document capture on mobile devices. Over 80% of organizations need to enable document capture on mobile devices, yet fewer than 20% have fully enabled it. 
This gap points to a challenge organizations are having keeping up with mobile technology. Information mobility has a positive impact on a broad range of business metrics. Top of the list, 77% of respondents recognize that information mobility would have a positive impact on their revenue, and 72% see that IM would positively benefit their business process workflow, a tremendously important figure for any for-profit business that comes in at 70%, new customer acquisition. From there, customer retention, profitability, operational costs, and time to market for new products the lowest on the list, but still recognized by 59% of respondents as a significant benefit to their business provided by information mobility. In addition to the positive impact on a broad range of business metrics, information mobility drives significant, quantifiable economic business benefits. Organizations with the highest information mobility maturity see almost $25,000 in annual benefit per employee, combining $17,000 in savings from productivity gains and operating cost reductions with $7,200 in revenue gains. Technologies drive significant productivity benefits. Deploying a full range of business apps to mobile users enabled companies to see a 39% increase in productivity. Topping the list of employee productivity increases is tablets and smartphones, followed by search and collaboration capabilities, as we mentioned just a minute ago. Now, as I mentioned earlier, IDC identifies four levels of information mobility maturity champions, contenders, beginners, and candidates by correlating information mobility to business outcomes. Only 17% of companies fell into the most mature champion category, meaning that the 83% of companies are missing out on major business upside potential. Information mobility maturity leads to better business outcomes. The key enablers of highest level of information mobility are Number one, strong senior management support. Number two, innovative organizational culture where IT supports business outcomes. And number three, use of information technology like BPM, that's business process management software, enterprise social networks, and intelligent capture and search. Okay. So we have uh, time for one last gut check here before we start our climb. Let's level set, get our heads on straight. Before we, wanna, before we start to climb, let's take a sec just to reaffirm where we're all, each of us, starting from. Let's take note of our gut responses to these three questions. So the first one, how many filing cabinets do you have? Do you have one to two, three, four to 10, 10 to 15? Do you have more than 15 filing cabinets in your office? Does printing take so long that you have time for a coffee break before the job finishes? And how do you react when your younger employees talk about their work styles and their quote unquote must have tools? Do you say, of course you can work flexible hours remotely on your tablet. We do that all the time here. Do you say, interesting, tell me more. Do you say, does this have something to do with cyberspace? Or do you say, Get off my lawn. With that in mind, before we begin our ascent up the mountain, let's pause here and recap with seven reasons information mobility is crucial for your business. The sky is the limit, literally, when it comes to information mobility. Whether riding in a bus, lounging at the beach, waiting at a coffee shop, cruising at 36,000 feet, or climbing a mountain, Employees can work anywhere they have an internet connection. Since work is no longer limited to an office, a desk, a computer, there has been a huge paradigm shift in modern business toward a mobile workforce. Businesses need to be set up to accommodate this work style evolution. And here are seven reasons why a mobility strategy is crucial for your business. Number one, mobile workers are increasing daily. 
according to the aforementioned industry analyst from IDC Research. By 2020, mobile workers will account for nearly 75% of the workforce in America. So to be effective, mobile workers must be able to perform in the same way they would in the office with full access to desktops, applications, and files. To attract and retain valuable workers with advanced skill sets, a flexible mobile or remote working environment is often necessary. Today's workers want the flexibility to work remotely, especially the Generation X and Millennial workforce. Security is essential. Today's work styles demand new security awareness. In order to accommodate new work styles, businesses need to provide greater access and more timely connections to information that's used to be available, that used to only be available in the office. Today's workers access company information on their phones, their tablets, and other BYODs, bring your own device. Because of this, enabling mobile access with the wrong systems in place can make your company's sensitive data vulnerable. Today's workers need to be educated on company best, pro best practices that maximize security, and businesses need to be set up with cloud-based data security systems that help to naturally integrate mobility into the workplace. Basically, a business needs to have mobile device management under control to keep company data and apps secure. A well-defined information mobility strategy can empower workers and give them more work style freedom while also helping to eliminate the risk of a security breach. Number three, flexible, scalable growth for your business. Streamlined office solutions that accommodate mobility can scale quickly, allowing a business with remote workers to grow exponentially. Companies that are set up with mobile solutions and offer remote work styles can dramatically expand their potential new hire candidates and recruit the best employee for the job, regardless of location. Costly relocations are also not necessary, and businesses can easily grow with virtual workers who do not need bigger or more expensive office space. Integrated office solutions can also be customized to accommodate an office's unique needs, and these services can be easily scaled to match changing market conditions. I can tell you that actually ourselves here at Rico Canada, we just relocated our corporate head office, and we have all the same number of staff um, you know, on the payroll. Everyone moved over here, but we actually decreased the amount of real estate. I think our president said just this morning, I think it was to the tune of, in terms of the expenditure, I think it was to the tune of 20, 21, 23%, if I'm not mistaken, in terms of our spend on our rent in our space. There's still home and space for everyone in our new, new world of work, but we have a lot more mobile workers, a lot more remote workers. So people come into the office, spend their time here, then other days they work from home. And the result is something that's highly collaborative, highly um, socialized insofar as ideas and information and innovation is really allowed to grow and to bloom in this new world of work environment that we enjoy here at Rico Canada. Moving on to number four, the increased efficiency and employee productivity. So since managed mobility and collaboration tools are cloud-based, employees can perform office tasks anywhere at any time. With mobile solutions, a business can run 24-7 in multiple time zones as employees have the tools and access they need uh, to, to leverage the information from remote locations. Manual processes also add up to wasted hours, wasted days, and wasted dollars. Streamlined mobile solutions cut out the extra steps in expense management, approvals, and business processes. In fact, according to research by, a by the American Productivity and Quality Center, they said that, quote, automating systems have been shown to increase employee productivity 5 to 10 percent as they spend less time on process and more time on business opportunity. Number five, cost savings. Getting work done more quickly with automated and mobile solutions drives down labor costs. After all, reduced overhead is an obvious cost-saving advantage of implementing any mobile or cloud-based integrated process. In addition, there's no need to spend a lot of money on purchasing on-site equipment as implementation is customized to accommodate business needs and everything could potentially be in the cloud. Remote businesses can also improve their bottom line by reducing expenses for utilities, furniture, office supplies, not to mention well-designed mobility solutions incorporate video and web meeting applications, which help 
which helps businesses save on in-person meetings and travel expenses. Number six, streamlined mobile solutions free up IT. When integrated business solutions are working properly, IT can focus on what matters most for your business instead of focusing on technical glitches. It's all about resources, so freeing up IT enables time for more innovation and strategic business projects. Number seven, better work-life balance. The reason information mobility is so crucial for businesses today is because today's workforce has more technological options to access their work from anywhere and in turn desire to have the option to work remotely for better work-life balance. Whether in a home office, neighborhood cafe, or airport, employees need the flexibility that mobility offers. Mobility should offer just as productive an experience as being in the office. It isn't, uh, we're not talking about part-time work here, but they also, need, they also need to be able to be productive remotely just as if they were in the office so that an unexpected meeting shouldn't have to end a long planned vacation. Having the ability to jump online anywhere there is an internet connection to finish work that's on deadline also helps reduce employee stress and makes our businesses more productive. I can give you a personal example, for instance, just yesterday. So I was working on a deadline yesterday, but I had a doctor's appointment that I had booked some time ago, and it fell um, towards the end of the day at 4 o'clock. I, uh, I needed to hit my deadline by midnight last night, so I was able to leave work a little bit early, pop over to my doctor's appointment, head home to my home office, get back online, and access all my information as if I had just been sitting still in my office um, here in Mississauga. So in that way, I was able to just pick up my work exactly where I had left off, but in between there, there's that whole, you know, that work-life balance thing, and I was able to address something personal uh, towards the end of the day, but still get back online and, and hit my deadline. So information mobility, like I said, offers greater work-life balance for happier employees, increases job satisfaction and loyalty among uh, our employees, as well as a positive effect on our bottom line. All great things. So in case you are still wondering who information mobility matters to, information mobility affects all companies and the people that work in them. Business leaders in every industry need to understand how to effectively navigate today's new world of work. All businesses, no matter how big or small, are driven by information and how we access, use, and share it in our information economy I mentioned before. The information is the root of it all. The benefits of shifting to a digital work environment become more apparent every day. Okay, let's do this. So, where do you start? Information mobility is as unique as your business. So, to get there, start by taking a look around um, the next time you're in your office. Take a look around you. Is your company missing any of the three core pillars of information mobility? Number one, policies and processes that support the differing styles of a diverse and changing workforce. Number two, robust investments in technology. And the third pillar of information mobility, the availability of anytime, anywhere, format agnostic information to everyone in your organization who's authorized to access it. If so, if your company is missing any of these three core pillars of information mobility, it's time to act. But don't expect or don't, don't force yourself to make it all happen at once. Implementing information mobility takes time, but I promise the results are worth it. To make things easy, to help your business grow, to make information work for you. So the next step, create a cultural revol uh, rev revolution. So, does your company have solutions and processes in place that allow close collaboration and alignment between its technology, information management, and work styles? Harness the flow of information throughout your organization to drive your business success. And here are four ways technology is changing your business. The first is digitization. So get your files out of the file cabinet and into the cloud, or at least onto the network. Digitizing your information makes it more accessible and more secure, as after all, uh, it's pretty hard to back up a file cabinet. Big data. 
We all hear a lot about big data in the news. In terms of digitizing information, that lets you hand off the hard work to your computers, freeing up your people to do value-add or revenue-generating activities. Need to know what percentage of a specific industry and market sector of your customers use a certain element of your product in a particular way? That information can and absolutely must be at your fingertips. Remote access. Accessing tools and files at work while you're on the go can be as easy as logging into your favorite social network or getting the latest baseball scores. And strong security policies coupled with appropriate permissions across the network ensure that the right people find their way to the right information. And lastly, BYOD. Bring your own device. Bring Your Own Device Computing has a rocky history with IT departments playing a non-stop game of whack-a-mole just to keep up with a proliferation of new, untested devices and user demands for support. But data can be achieved with smart policies that balance the need for security and ease of support with employees' need for freedom to use the tools that make them the most productive. Workplace productivity. Discover how your workspaces are being used and how to make the most of them. In this new world of work, you have to manage increasing numbers of mobile and remote workers and provide space for collaboration and on-site meetings. With our workplace productivity solutions, RICO can help ensure that your workers have the right tools and space to get the job done right. Break down productivity barriers so workers can get more done during the workday. 71% of Canadian respondents in the Staples Business Advantage Workplace Index say their employers do not give them access to the latest technology to help them do, to help them do their job more efficiently. For over 80 years, RICO has led the charge in transforming the way people work, communicate and exchange information through technology to get you and your workforce the information you want, wherever and whenever you need it. For optimal performance, iWorkers, that's workers who rely on electronic and printed information in their daily jobs, need their information optimized to make them the most productive. They need to securely access exactly what they're looking for, wherever they are, and whenever they need it, and in whatever form that suits their present needs. As the volume and variety of business information flowing through an enterprise continues to increase, so does the challenge and the necessity of optimizing it. Optimized information helps iWorkers perform more effectively, better satisfying the needs of customers and employees alike. Optimizing information also provides greater insight and better decision making in an era of big data. 38% of CIOs believe using big data is highly advantageous, and almost half at 47% encourage gathering and developing big data. 45% also expect to boost their investment in big data next year. But to make all that data work for you, you need, a, you need systems and processes that appropriately feed it to make it intelligible and accessible. Optimizing information helps ensure everyone in your business has access to your most valuable asset, information, in the form that makes them the most effective at their job, not just within one area or business process, but across your entire organization. In, today, in today's new world of work, employees need instant access to information at any time from any location. Businesses rely on RICO to make their work count by providing them with effective and smart tools that automate administrative office processes and empower people to focus on tasks and ideas that drive business value. So about that whole how to increase revenue by $7,210 per employee, right? Here's what you need. You need a vision. You need a plan. You need information mobility. $7,210 per employee is not a small chunk of change. At a time when many businesses are looking for any way to slash costs and get on the right side of the balance sheet, it's the sort of difference that can turn that bad year into that great one, like I said at the beginning, and the sort of difference that comes with information mobility. So, of course, of course $7,210 is oddly specific, isn't it? 
So how do you get to that number, you ask? Well, simple. You ask the top performers in business about the results that they've seen from pursuing information mobility initiatives. So in an IDC study conducted on behalf of RICO, researchers found that companies with real information mobility earn, on average, $7,210 in revenue annually per employee and realize $16,027 per employee annually in increased productivity. That's a 42% jump. The same study also found that companies with the highest information mobility maturity enjoyed annual benefits of $40,000 per employee, with the average being $24,000. So how can you increase revenue and make information work for your organization? First off, don't overlook search. Be honest now. How much time do you spend looking for things at work? Every second you spend looking for a file or a document is money wasted. So it would seem that having the ability to quickly find the information you're looking for at any time should be a priority for every company. But it's not always that easy, of course. Between investment costs, institutional barriers, and other roadblocks, there's a lot of reasons that search isn't prioritized in many company budgets. Meanwhile, the companies that have invested in search boosted employee productivity by 9%. Revenue went up 18%. Operational costs fell by $30 million. And it cut the time spent on business processes by more than half. When you give workers the ability to access information quickly and efficiently, the results compound on themselves, as these top performers found out. The lesson here is, is very clear, and it is that it might be time to rethink our priorities. Next up, communication. Communication is key. It's not just enough to go mobile and improve your access to information. You also need to communicate effectively to make the best possible business decisions with the information that you have. Collaboration technologies like local intranets and portal technologies that act as gateways for workers to access the network and for customers to easily access information products, and services have proven to be strong revenue boosters. Between the two, collaboration technology enabled a 10% employee productivity boost within organizations and dramatically drives down operational costs as customers and workers are better able to get the answers and information that they need. Information mobility needs to be a commitment from the whole organization, both internally and externally. And from there, go mobile. This one should be a no-brainer. We've talked about BYOD and mobility solutions already, but it's worth reiterating, the benefits of mobility are many. They are legion. The survey found that enabling tablets and smartphones in these companies boosted productivity by 13% per employee and increased revenue by 12%. By more, but more than that, enabling smartphones and tablets in an organization also managed to reduce operational costs by a whopping annual average of $1.7 million. That's three distinct benefits directly influencing your bottom line. And lastly, tie it all together. When it comes to adopting an information mobility strategy, it pays to take a holistic approach. Information mobility is something that permeates throughout your entire organization so that your workers and customers have access to the information they need whenever they need it. And while it may prove challenging at times, the example that these companies surveyed proves that the benefits of information mobility are well worth the time and the effort. There are compelling reasons for organizations to increase their information mobility maturity now, including better time to market, improved business process workflows, reduced costs, and increased revenue. Achieving high levels of information mobility maturity requires senior management commitment, as I mentioned. It's a strategic decision across the organization, and it will not be effective. In fact, it could very well prove catastrophic if left to individual departments. Information mobility maturity requires investment in the right technologies. 
including enterprise cross-repository search and collaboration tools, integration of workflows across departments, and mobile and cloud enterprise on-ramps and off-ramps, specifically printing and scanning. Next up, I want to give you five things that best-in-class organizations in terms of information mobility maturity are doing to unlock their IM strategy. Number one, extend and transform your infrastructure. In a rapidly changing business world, expanding your enterprise outside of your office walls can be difficult. It can be risky. So RICO eases the transition with solutions focused on secure, agile, efficient, and transformational technologies. We work in an age of digital transformation and approaches that worked in the past no longer work in this fluid environment. Capitalizing on the digital shift requires a cultural shift, but many businesses aren't sure where to start. So RICO helps them transform the way they work, implementing mobility solutions that accelerate document digitization, leverage multiple forms of data, integrate mobile devices, and capture content more effectively. RICO can absolutely help your organization take on the mobility chances you face in your new world of work, empowering your eye workers and improve information processes. Number two, speed up customer service. If your mobile employees have to wait until they're back in the office to complete transactions, fill in expense reports, submit sales orders, what have you, productivity slows and your customers are left waiting. Wouldn't it be better if you could take advantage of the mobile devices your employees already use to accelerate your business-related tasks? Achieve agility by leveraging major mobile platforms. Perform work processes on the go with smartphones and tablets and retrieve important data whilst in the field. RICO Solutions for Document Digitization and Scanning employ, uh, empower employees to capture and route important information more quickly from wherever they are. When you can extend the capture and retrieval of documents, data, and images to your employees in the field, they can enhance the customer experience with quick responses and timely follow through. Number three, use mobility to create savings. Do you finance your own data centers, sponsor corporate mobile devices, purchase legacy software license agreements? If the answer to one, of more, one or more of these questions is yes, RICO can help your organization capitalize on the real cost savings from cloud-based solutions that make high total cost of ownership technologies headaches a thing of the past. We can assist your organization in developing a truly paperless ecosystem, allowing employees to work from anywhere on any device without increasing risk or cost. Cloud-based technologies can enable new information workflows that encourage collaboration whilst improving business resiliency and continuity. And number four, embrace a performance culture. Once you invest in mobility solutions, you want to know that employees will use them. RICO has the knowledge and the expertise to help make the transition as smooth as possible for maximum user adoption. So you can enable a true performance culture within your organization. Business success is directly tied to an employee's ability to adopt and optimize the use of new technology, tools, and processes. We focus on the organizational processes and people that will make your mobility framework successful, working with you to choose the technologies that best fit your unique needs. And lastly, number five, navigate the new world of work. The steps you take today help determine how you'll compete tomorrow, and our consultants can set you up for success with the right combination of strategies and solutions to create a competitive advantage in the new world of work. RICO has developed its own enterprise mobility framework, which is industry-leading, people and process-centric, and able to dramatically improve productivity whilst reducing operating costs. We made it. Information mobility is a relatively recent term used to describe the state in which an evolving workforce makes smart and strategic use of technology to manage the information it needs to make intelligent business decisions. It's about the innovative methods that changing workforce is using to become more efficient and more productive. 
It's about making critical information available to anyone who needs it in your organization, anywhere, anytime, on any device, no matter the format. It's about how people are using technology to revolutionize how they connect and collaborate, sometimes deliberately, sometimes instinctively. Some of us are more drawn to technology and, and reaching out social platforms and being instantaneous in our, in our communication. Some of us, it's more planned and more structured. When you achieve true information mobility, information flows effortlessly throughout your entire business to power your big ideas and achieve your organizational goals. The way people work constantly evolves, and as it has, Rico's products and solutions have helped revolutionize the modern office. For nearly 80 years, we've been at the forefront of workplace innovation and will continue to make information work for you. And together, we can imagine change. So thank you, everyone. That wraps up the um, presentation portion of our meeting. I'm going to check and see if we have any online questions that have been received, and, uh, and we can field any of those. I'll give you just another minute to enter in any questions you might have in your chat window. And uh, we'll see, give me just half a second here while I scroll through. Okay, it looks like the only questions that we had were related uh, early on, related to the technology with the, a question about the phone number. So um, it doesn't appear to be any more questions on the material today. I will share with you that you'll receive an email to thank you for your attendance today. Thank you so much for joining me. And in your email will be a link. This uh, presentation will be posted up on a private space in YouTube should you like to review it again in the future. The link will be provided to you. And uh, that concludes the second and the final presentation in our Make Your Work Count um, campaign that we've been running. We hope that you were able to join us for this in addition to this one today to the one on information security last month. And please keep an eye out for other uh, interesting and educational articles that go up on our blog at blog.rico.ca. And join us a conversation with us on the social media platforms. We're on Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube, as well as Facebook. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you again for joining us today. You go and have a wonderful afternoon now. Thank you.